Christmas everybody. This is Deepak from CasualGames.io. I have seen a lot of questions in the ManyChat Facebook group, like how do you build a referral system, uh, how do you track them, uh, and so on. Like a lot of people suggest a third-party links, third-party tools like Indigromat, Zapier, UpViral, and so on. So I just used uh, just ManyChat and uh, ManyChat's API and built a very simple referral system um, that um, tracks. Uh, how many users are coming in, how many referrals are coming in, um, and so on. Um, I just used uh, Jeff Kubinski's YouTube videos as my tutorial. Um, so thank you, Jeff, uh, for putting up those awesome tutorials there. I'm sure anybody who wants to uh, learn about uh, APIs, ManyChat APIs, they definitely need to check it out. So coming back to my uh, flows, uh, right now, uh, these are that I have. Uh, that goes with share with friends and then we'll just go through this and then there are some rules that will work in context with these flows um, so now let me just go to the first flow where you just click on a button share with friends and then it triggers this flow uh, so you can see i just give instructions there saying like what uh, what needs to be done so tap the share forward icon to the right of the card so this is just an image card um, nothing fancy and uh, you can see I didn't put a card URL here because you cannot have a so you cannot have dynamic variables here coming up right dynamic parameters so it's very important to have a, a payload being appended to this card URL so that's the reason I didn't put it there I added it as a button <clears throat> so here uh, this is my ref URL uh, that I created uh, a growth tool and in the growth when you're creating the growth tool itself you can uh, add it add the user ID as well. So for example, let's say Let's go to the growth tools And this is a referral share card And when you look at setup you can see so I'm actually adding the payload to this parameter user a ID Q underscore user a ID so you can just remember this uh, when you're going through the flow, right? Yeah, so now the, ref, uh, the user ID is being added as a payload to the URL and it's just a open website uh, action here. Okay, and now let's say um, we are going to talk in terms of users. There's going to be user A, there's going to be user B. Uh, user A, for example, is me, Deepak. Uh, user B is somebody whom I'm going to forward this uh, card, referral card to. So that is the referral, I'm the referee, technically, referrer. Right. Um, so in this card, actually, I also use dynamic variables like first name. So the, when the user B gets this card, it will say, Deepak invites you to casualgames.io. Deepak says you can play this thing. So it's, it's just my way of customizing the message. So you can customize it whatever way you want. I just wanted to add a personalized um, personalization touch there. Right. So now what happens is when I, like in the flow, when I forward the button, um, using the forward button, when I forward it to user B, They'll see this message and uh, they'll see the message Deepak invites you, Deepak says you can play, start the quiz. So the user is going to click on this start the quiz, right? Now what happens is when the user gets this message, this user ID will be replaced with my page ID, right? So it will be like casual games, ref with friends, double iPhone, uh, 2341, whatever my page ID is, right? And automatically that will get stored in the that particular payload variable this variable user aid so that is the very important step here now what happens once the user clicks on this user b clicks on this is this uh, payload gets stored under their name <clears throat> under their uh, series of values so there the first rule gets triggered so where is it Sorry. So we have a rule where it says when Q underscore user AID changes. So this is the rule. Now what happens is whenever the um, whenever the Q underscore user AID changes, right? And so I have actually added one more condition. This uh, this change I added uh, very recently. So basically now what happens is the user clicks on start user B clicks on uh, start quiz and then it starts taking the quiz and then the question number is like goes to one and beyond so that's when this rule will trigger so basically I added this condition to avoid 
ghost referrals like just because there is a referral bonus attached to this activity uh, initially i saw people are just randomly referring their friends and then those referrals they are not being active in my uh, flow it's just a wasted uh, uh, thing on my system so i was just paying uh, for those ghost users so i added this condition where only when the when the first question is completed when they answer the first question only then this rule will trigger right so when the first question is answered and it will check if q underscore user id has happened then it will fire this flow and you can see it's only once per user so it's not like uh, every time the user plays a game it will not happen the first time when the user plays only once per user this flow will fire so and that flow is this one so in my quiz, uh, every player is tagged. Uh, when when it's a repeat user, they are tagged as a old player, Q underscore old player. But if it's a new user who is coming through this referral system, they will not be having that tag, right? So I'm just validating that thing. And once I validate, uh, if if it's a repeat user who is coming through this flow, then uh, I'm actually if they go through this because tag is old player, it's a old player, so. Uh, I'm actually uh, storing the user B's name here. So let's say, for example, it's John. Let's say John is the user B. So Q underscore name B will be John. And then a external request, ManyChat API will be fired. So it's basically a message that will go to user A. So the message that will go is, you can see subscriber ID is user A ID. Yes, it will go to user A. It will say, User B is already an existing player in our game, so you're not eligible for a referral bonus. So this is set up to avoid the users uh, getting referral bonus again and again or for existing players. It doesn't make sense for me, right? So I'm putting that. <clears throat> but if it's a new player who doesn't have this tag, so then what I do is uh, you add the name uh, to the CUF, you store it on the CUF. So basically it's John, uh, name B. And I add the tag old player. So when it comes again through this flow, I can identify it's an existing player. Then starts a series of API calls. So everything happens through API calls here. So basically, I send a confirmation message to user A. You can see here, subscriber ID is user A. So this is a user A subscriber ID. Then this message will go to user A. Uh, user B has joined casual games. A referral using your referral link 2000 coins will be added to your valid band shortly for referring user b so basically it will show us dpac has joined casual games quiz bot 2000 coins will be added to your valid valid band shortly but for referring deeper so this is the message it goes so rather here it's going to be john right so it's john has joined casual games uh, for referring john so this is a message that will be sent uh, to the user a now after this message is sent there is another API call that happens. Now what happens is basically a tag is being added. A tag will be added to the user A. So this tag ID is basically uh, a called new referral uh, that I created. So basically this tag ID you will get through uh, other means like you have to use the swagger, uh, get all the list of tags in your for the user. There you will get the tag ID. So basically manually you have to add it here. Uh, unfortunately, you can't go with tag name, you have to go with tag ID. Uh, so what I'm doing is, uh, I'm going to add this tag to this user, in this case, user A, that is me, Deepak, right? I'm just adding it here, that's it. This step only does that. I'll tell you why this tag is being added shortly. And then there's an action where uh, I'm giving 2000 coins, I'm adding 2000 coins as a joining bonus to user B. So basically user B for, for user B, 2000 coins will be added, right? So that's it. In this flow, only these three actions happen. So basically, a message goes out to user A saying user B has joined, and then a tag is added to user A, and then referral joining bonus is added to user B. After this, now we added a tag here, right? So let's go to rules, because rule will be fired. Okay, I'm sorry, not that one, okay, this one. So now this is this was the tag, okay, this was the tag that was added. So now what happens, the rule is when this tag is applied, start this flow. So we have another flow for that, that is add referral bonus. So we are going to add referral bonus to user A now. So now you can see this, this is the rule. So basically 
it gets triggered. So what happens is initially the CV of custom field gets increased, this referral coins value. It gets increased by 2000, even for user A. Uh, in the previous flow, we saw 2000 coins being added for user B. So here it's being added for user A and the number of referrals is increased by one. And then a confirmation message saying like 2000 coins has been added. You have referred this CV of value number of referrals. So let's say uh, I have added 10, nine players until now so this one is my 10th player so then i have you have referred 10 players until now right and this is the most important step here so you have to remove this new referral tag because when the next referral is being added this will create a problem so we have to remove this tag here and then it goes to a next flow like that so we can ignore that for now so now what we have done we have added the tag we have added a few points to uh, user A, we have added points to user B, and we have also tracked the referral. That's it. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, all you have to ensure is, uh, like I said, we have to add a payload in your uh, ref URL. You store the payload in a, in a curve, in a custom user field, and then you just set up a rule when the user uh, when the CV of changes maybe you can just make conditions change the conditions as per your requirement uh, because this is the flow i wanted this is the conditions i wanted so when that happens you do a referral check you ensure that this is an uh, this is not an existing user this is a new user and based on that you just make these flows uh, and when the, the tag is added to user a so which means uh, it another rule will be triggered user yes rule will be triggered <clears throat> which actually goes to this flow add referral bonus this is add referral bonus for user a and all these things happen and that's it oh yeah so now what happens is uh, in the one of the flows we added bonus points to you user b also right so i just uh, we need to send a confirmation message to user b as well so i just added a smart delay 10 minutes because i'm assuming the user will continue playing the quiz so i just giving a 10 minutes delay there and then i'll just say like 2000 coins has been added to your wallet as joining bonus and then it will go to the total points flow so that's pretty much it so guys this is like a very simple uh, referral flow i built just using many chat and many chat apis uh, so I suggest uh, you go through these YouTube videos uh, of Jeff. Uh, at least I found them very helpful uh, and they're very simple to implement. In fact, I'm uh, planning to improve a lot uh, in these flows. Uh, yeah, feel free to ask any questions. Even I'm learning every day, so I might learn something from your questions. Thanks, guys. And Jeff, thanks a lot.